5k YouTube. This could probably be done in two parts this because I'm going to do a Swedish torch configuration on the firebox. It's a really good way of doing a firebox because you, you can, uh, the heat from it will last quite a long while for cooking on, not when you have to keep tending it by pushing sticks in and stuff. So, is what I've done is I've got the firebox. For those, for those who don't know what the firebox is, this is the version 2. And it's a small little thing. The scale, medium size ones. Looking amazing. Um, I've gone for a bit of wood that I've just collected. You can stick it in, give it a measure. Yeah. I'll probably come back in just a little bit, say, say about there, and we'll cut that off like that. Beautiful. Might be a little bit small for the purposes that I need, but we'll see. We'll see. Because basically what we'll do is we'll cut that into quarters, stick it in, that's all. So, next stage, cut it in quarters. It's not exact science. It doesn't have to be. So unlike a normal Swedish fire torch where you put them in so that all the angles are the same. Try and do a better job of this one. To be honest with you, this was more back. Should have checked that first. Oh well, let's move on. You kind of go in at the angles like that. So what I'll probably do is just pack that in a bit. It tends to be a bit funny about doing things for no reason. Like if I wanted to make a brew now, that'd be my reason. But the truth is, I've got a brew. So, uh, I don't really have a reason per se to, to do this. Alright, so I've left a little bit of a hole, just so I can get a little bit of cotton wool there on fire. Fuck it, let's light it now. I can't wait to see it myself. That one's going to go okay now, so well, they still have my battery and I'll come back to that in a, in a moment. It's been a couple of minutes, probably that. Apologies if the smoke's going into the camera, but it seems to be going that way now. Start to get a, a nice little bit of combustion, smoke, very smoky to begin with. It's now eased up a fair bit, if I'm honest. Uh, I'll try and put the camera down its throat in a minute to a safety grave. But there you've got a uh, Swedish fire torch in using the firebox version 2. Now that took a little bit of effort, not a lot, is it? I mean, you, you cut that, chop it twice. Pack it with some of your trimmings if you've got any trimmings or whatever you've got lying about. A bit of a silver birch bark or any kind of birch bark is good for this because of the oil content in the bark. Look at me, I sound like a pro. It's only what I've learnt on YouTube. Uh, but that now you could you could cook anything you want on that now because there's enough fuel in there at a good rate of burn. That you could use that for uh, for anything really now. 
Yeah, it's all pretty good. Uh, the firebox all comes with like a grill. I did a bit of burgers on it yesterday, so you'll have seen that hopefully. If you haven't, don't worry about it. But it's there if you want to see it. Um, this is probably my favourite way of using the firebox because you don't have to keep messing about. But you do need a good bit of wood. Whereas for normal cooking, and just want to grab a little bit of twigs off the floor and you can cook on that, and it's, that's really easy. But you know, if you do have like a little bit of a log here and there, you don't have to find big ones, do you? You know, little ones like that. What's that? About uh, four or five inches in diameter. Nothing. That, oof, no problems to cook on now. So, to prove it, I'm going to boil some water. Just stick a couple of little fire sticks on it, and you've got yourself a nice stable platform there. Again, just like that, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, we've got a a nice boil on there now. I had to make a little adjustment because it did kind of fallen out a little bit so it wasn't getting that heat right through the middle so I just put a little extra stick in there just to keep them close keep the heat in. Right because we've not really done a lot today we're going to try this new me. <laughs> Is it Monison's? Yeah. Monison's own Instant hot chocolate mix. Now, Brandy's not over uh, keen on this because it's low fat, reduced sugar, reduced flavour. That's what that means. That's why she's not into it. But I'm saving the full fat goodness for the dark warm trip, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Okay. What's the, what's the direction of sweets? I don't know. 40 calories per serving. Well, we are going to two heaped teaspoons according to that. You can go ahead and make mine three. Yeah, I'm going to put three in each actually because <laughs> it is a little bit weak on the old flavours. The flavour flavour. Anyway, so firebox, Swedish torch configuration wasn't perfect. You got the idea though, I think. And uh, yeah, you can carry on cooking on that easy. Alright, see you later.